in this episode here, episode 2, I'll show you how you can add some approach notes and enclosures to the C major scale. So if you haven't seen episode 1 where I showed how you can play the C major scale in 5 patterns, go back to that and learn that first. So, why is it important to learn enclosures, approach notes? It's important if you want to understand how great players build their lines. So you have to understand this mechanical concept. I think it's important. Okay, so if we take like uh, the C major scale here in pattern two. So let's see how we can add some approach notes. So we have like <coughs> C here with a scale tone. <coughs> Sorry. And if you go back, you have also the scale tone. So and you go up to D. So we have scale tone, scale tone, scale tone. And here we have the approach note, the C sharp up to D. And that's a nice line. So if you want to land on the D, you can go down and up. And then we continue this pattern. So we play D and down to the approach note, up to the scale tone again. Okay, and then D sharp, and a new approach note, D sharp up to E, with a scale tone and also a chord tone, C, E, and from E we go to F, but now we make an enclosure, we are like surrounding the F with the so we use E and G to get down to F so that's an enclosure and then we continue from F up to G so we have scale tone scale tone scale tone approach note and then up to G and then we continue from G down to the F sharp and up, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, down and up to G again. And then we have like G sharp and up to A. So G, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So the F sharp and the G sharp are approach notes and then we land on the target note the scale tone A and then we go down again to G sharp and up to the scale tone and then we have yeah you can say A sharp or you can say B flat and then up to B so the A sharp or the B flat is the approach note up to B and then then we have a new enclosure because now we go from B to C it's just a half step so we have to make an enclosure here when we use this pattern here so we say um, so we go from B down to A sharp, up to B, and then up to D, and then to C, and also play it horizontal, so it's maybe easier to see. So the B and the D make like a enclosure so it's surrounding the C yeah so now I will show you all 
five patterns with this uh, system, this pattern I just played. Okay, and yeah, good luck with the exercise. Thank mm -hmm. you.